Welcome to this updated modding guide for Assetto Corsa. This is a complete beginning to end walkthrough of everything you need to get AC set up for mods. There are three essential mods you'll need before you start installing things like cars and tracks. The first is Content Manager, a custom, highly detailed launcher for Assetto Corsa that works as the command center for the game itself, as well as all the mods you'll be downloading. The next thing you'll need is Custom Shaders Patch, an extension that vastly improves the game as a whole, optimizing performance, improving graphics and physics, and much more. The final essential mod is Pure, or its free alternative, Soul. Complete weather overhauls that work with CSP and the rest of the game to give you amazing new skyboxes, shaders, and more. These three mods, CM, CSP, and Soul or Pure, are the framework for all modding in Assetto Corsa, and many car, track, and HUD mods, as well as many online servers, will require that you already have these three things installed and updated. So let's start by installing Content Manager. This is a standalone program that you'll find the download link for in the description of this video. Content Manager's basic or light version is completely free and contains everything you need. However, if you want early access to new builds with some extra work in progress features, you can donate any amount of money to get permanent access to Content Manager's full version. I have it personally and would recommend it to anyone more serious about the game, but for this tutorial, we'll be using the free basic version. Scroll down and click the download directly link, or use one of the backups if that one isn't working for you. This download will give you a zipped folder that you can open up with your favorite utility, then drag the Content Manager executable to wherever you want to keep it. This program will be how you boot up Assetto Corsa from now on, so keep it somewhere it won't get deleted or lost. I'm just going to throw it on my desktop for this tutorial. Now we can open the program to its initial setup window. Upon doing this, Content Manager will check for updates, and you might see an update file appear wherever you put Content Manager. Check for this before going through setup, and if you do see it, just close the setup window, double click the update file, wait a moment, and then Content Manager will be updated and ready to start. The first thing you need to do is point Content Manager to your Assetto Corsa installation. It might be able to find the path automatically, but in case it doesn't, you can open Steam, right click the game in your library, scroll down to Manage, and hit Browse Local Files. This is Assetto Corsa's root folder. You can click in the blank space here to highlight the path, copy it, and paste it into Content Manager. If you don't have a Steam copy, just browse to wherever you have the game installed. CM should also automatically find your Steam ID, but in case it doesn't, hit change and follow the instructions in the link. Then type in whatever name you want to use, just make sure you change it from the default player, add a desktop shortcut if you want one, and then install the 7-zip and Ceph Sharp plugins, which will make future mod installs much easier and allow you to browse web pages within Content Manager. You can ignore every other plugin on this list. There's no harm in installing them, but the average user won't need them. And now we're in Content Manager. It's a bit overwhelming at first, so let's give a quick rundown of the basics. If CM ever needs to update again from here on out, you'll see a green notification next to the hamburger menu in the top right and can click that and then update from the drop-down menu to update the program. You can select your car and track in the top left. This gives you the ability to change tunes and liveries, view the car in a showroom, tweak setups, assists, and more. To change track conditions, use the options here. Things like time of day, weather and season, grip levels, and more can all be tweaked here. And below this, you can set up your event type add AI cars to race against, choose your starting location, and much more. Note that some track mods not meant for racing won't have something called an AI spline. This means that when you try to launch the track in race mode, it'll throw up an error because the mod never told the AI how to drive the track. Just switch to something like practice mode and the track will boot right up. If you want to save any custom races or practice sessions to swap back to easily in the future, you can manage that in the bottom right here, and you can hit go to launch the game with whatever event you have configured. The game's career can be accessed with this button, and the server browser can be accessed in the online tab here, where you can see and sort all of the servers available to you. In the top right, you can see other pages that let you check out your best lap times, view screenshots and replays, see all of your installed content, and access the game's settings. 
Here you can manage everything for Assetto Corsa. You can adjust things like button mapping, wheel feedback, graphics and audio, as well as content manager settings to change things like how CM looks or to manage plugins. You should also see a custom shaders patch tab. If for whatever reason you don't see this or it's blank when you click on it, chances are good that you need to update Content Manager. You'll then see this big green install button. Click that and let it install. It's that easy. You now have access to hundreds of extra graphics, physics, and performance settings that you can navigate through here on the left side. This About and Updates tab is where you'll manage updates to CSP whenever needed. If you ever run into an issue where the sky is a solid color like red or black, sometimes with the text that says to update CSP, just head back here and click on the newest version to install it. During this first setup, it will likely automatically install the latest tested release, which right now is 0.1.79, but you can generally always update to the latest untested release. Right now, this is version 0.2.3. You should be on at least version 179 in order to use the latest version of Soul, and you need 0.2 or newer if you want to use Pure or mods that use newer encryption. CSP is another free mod that also has a paid version to unlock access to preview builds. For example, if you want rain, you currently need the paid preview build of CSP. This can be bought on their official Patreon page at the $1 tier, which gives you access to a download link for a zip file that you can just drag and drop right into Content Manager in order to install. Like every other paid option in this video, you don't need this, but I pay for it personally and would definitely recommend it if you want access to some great extra features. We will of course still be using the free 2.3 version of CSP for this guide. All right, now it's time to install our Skybox and Weathers mod. There are two different mods by the same author that do essentially the same thing. These mods are Soul and Pure, and you'll just pick one of them to install for your game. Soul is completely free and is essentially complete at version 2.2.9. However, since development has ended on Soul, it's starting to become more outdated, and it's possible that future updates to CSP will not support Soul down the line. Pure, on the other hand, is a much more recent and much better version that can be downloaded by subscribing to the creator's Patreon for $1. Even though the install process between these two mods is very similar, I'm still going to split the video up into two chapters here, so you can follow along to either the Soul install or the Pure install. If you'll be using Soul, just keep on watching, and if you want to use Pure, skip ahead to the timestamp shown on screen. Alright, let's install Soul. Follow the link in the description to end up here on Overtake's website, and create an account if you don't already have one. Creating an account is mandatory, but it's also free. Scroll past all of the paid options and click the Here text on Join with a basic account here. With that done, you can download Soul and open the zipped folder. These files contain more information about the mod and the written install guide if you need it. But for the purposes of this video, we just need to open the mod folder, Soul 2.2.9. Inside, you'll see four folders and an uninstall script. Keep this window open for now, and then go ahead and open up your Assetto Corsa root folder again, the same one we told Content Manager to use at the beginning of this video. With that open, we can take the four folders and the uninstall script from the mod folder and drag them over to extract them into Assetto's root folder. And you're done! Now let's head back into Content Manager. In Settings, select Custom Shaders Patch, and you should see a Weather Effects tab towards the bottom. Set your weather style to Soul. Then head over to Assetto Corsa's Python Apps tab and make sure these are enabled, along with each of the Soul apps. Finally, back in the Drive menu, click the Weather box, scroll down to Controllers, and select Soul 2.5. And that's it! That wraps up this part of Soul's installation. You can now skip ahead past the Pure Installation chapter by heading to the timestamp shown on screen. For those of you using Pure, let's go ahead and get that installed. Once you've subscribed to Peter's Patreon page, you can find the latest dev update post, which will contain download links for Pure. And you'll want to make sure to download the high-res version. The low-res version won't improve your game's performance at all, it's just there in case you have a data cap on your internet or low speeds. 
All right, so with Pure downloaded, let's open up both our Aceto Corsa root folder, that same one we used to set up Content Manager earlier, and we can open up the downloaded zip to find a handful of helpful written guides on setting up HDR, making your own filters, and more. We just need the mod folder itself though, which right now contains both Gamma 1.02 and LCS 0.45. We'll cover these more in a minute, but for now, just open up that folder to find four more more folders inside, along with a couple of uninstall scripts. If you already have Soul installed and are just upgrading to Pure, or have an older version of Pure installed, just drag the matching uninstall script into AC's root folder and double click it to remove that older mod. With that, to install Pure, all we need to do is drag these four folders into Aceto's root folder. And if you do want to hold on to those uninstall scripts for later in case you need them, feel free to drag those over as well. With that, Pure is installed. Now head back into Content Manager. Go to Settings, Custom Shaders Patch, find Weather Effects towards the bottom, and set your weather style to Pure. Right now, there are two versions of this, Gamma or LCS. Gamma is the complete version of the mod, but it's based on some older color space tech. It's what I'd recommend using for now though. LCS is newer, but still very much a work in progress. The full release of LCS is planned for September 2024. So if you're watching this video after that date, check to see if LCS is at or above 1.0. If it is, that's probably the better version to use. Gamma might even end up getting removed after LCS is completed complete anyway, so if you do just see one option for pure, select that option. Either way, with that done, you can head over to Content Manager's Drive menu and click the weather box, scroll down to Controllers, and select Pure. Alright, now to finish installation for both Soul and Pure users, we need to head over to Aceto Corsa's video settings. Once here, we can take a look at post-processing filters. Soul and Pure each come with their own set of filters that look great, and you can just use the basic one or experiment with the other options depending on your hardware. You can also download more filters online. Overtake is a great place for this, where you can see popular filters like Sky, Natural Mod, and many more. Installing these is usually just as easy as extracting the mod's contents into AC's root folder manually, or if you have the paid version of Content Manager currently, you can just drag the zipped filter folder right onto Content Manager to let it install automatically. Now, while we're in the video settings, check that your reflections rendering frequency is not set to static. Both Soul and Pure recommend two faces per frame, but you can turn this up if you want to improve how fluid reflections look, or turn it down to one if you really need some extra performance. With that done, now would be a great time to boot up the game and make sure everything is working. Load into any map with any car you want and mouse over to the right side of the screen to open the apps bar. Both Pure and Soul users will have configuration apps as well as planner apps. Use the config apps to tweak settings live and get the game looking exactly how you want it. And for pure users, your config app will even help you optimize any CSP settings automatically. In your planner app, this is where you can change weather and time of day on the fly. So feel free to spend some time here tweaking settings and messing around with different weathers in order to customize everything to your liking. Once you've done that, it's time to get to the fun stuff, cars and tracks. You'll be able to find these all over the internet, but Overtake's site is one of the better and more reliable sources. Installing these mods is usually very simple. You can just download any car or track and drag the zip right into Content Manager. You'll see that top right hamburger menu turn green and show a scanning arrow. Click the menu, wait for it to finish scanning if it needs to, and then click install. And that's it. The vast majority of mods can be installed just like that and your mod will be ready to play right away. However, sometimes you might see that a mod creator asks you to do a manual installation, as Content Manager could fail or mess up the install. Luckily, this is still very easy. In order to manually install a mod, open up that same Aceto Corsa root folder we've been using, and inside you'll see the Content folder. Clicking that shows you more organized folders, including ones for cars and tracks. This is where your cars and tracks go. The only thing you need to do to manually install mods is to extract the mod folders into the correct Aceto Corsa folder. Sometimes the mod folder will just be the name of the car or the name of the track. 
In this case, you just drag that folder right into the cars or tracks folder. However, sometimes mods will contain a content folder first. This is often the case when the mod also includes something like a custom driver model. So if you see a content folder when you open the mod, just drop that entire folder into the root directory, overlapping the existing content folder, and the rest of the folder structure will sort itself out. Make sure that you're not accidentally putting the mod's content folder inside the game's content folder. So in summary, to install any future mods for the game, generally all you have to do is either drag the zipped file onto the content manager window and then hit install in the top right, or manually install the mod by dragging the unzipped folders into your install folder while making sure to match whatever the folder structure is. And that's it! You now have Assetto Corsa fully modded and are ready to start playing or looking for some more cars and tracks to download. You might still be feeling a bit overwhelmed on where to head from here though, so I want to wrap this up by letting you know that I have written some very helpful tips and tweaks for Content Manager in the video's description below. And I'll also put links to some of my favorite mods in Assetto Corsa including things like the Shotoko Revival Project, a massive open-world recreation of Tokyo's highway network, Zero Culture Drift Cars, an amazing car pack that utilizes all new physics enhancements, and LFM, a platform that brings structured iRacing-style multiplayer to Assetto Corsa. So make sure to check out the description to give all of that a look as well. I hope this video has been helpful for you, and thanks for watching.